really no other way to say this except it is going to be cold and very cold. Yeah, this is the type of cold where, you know, we see the weather guy go outside with a cup of water and throw it in the air. Throw it in the air and it turns into a cloud. You're right. supposed to use uh, warm to hot water. So if you do do that experiment, throw it out and make sure nobody's in the way. Well, I'm not recommending that you yeah. go out and do it. but yeah, and, not, and not into the wind either. No, not into the wind. <laughs> Just that, make sure and, it goes away. And speaking of the wind chill tomorrow, that's really going to be dangerous for people heading outside if you have the exposed skin. Yeah, I think the winds are actually going to be the biggest ingredient that are going to cause problems. So we get the cold air. Yeah, it's cold. It's January. It's Pittsburgh. It gets cold. However, you add in the winds, and it makes it feel even worse outside. Now, the actual cold air is bottled up for the moment from Minneapolis up to Winnipeg. You get the temperatures. These are not wind chills. These are actual temperatures. Minus 18 Minneapolis, minus 27 Winnipeg. Now, this air, as it comes down towards us, will warm up a little bit. So we're not looking at temperatures quite that cold. However, it is going to be very cold here the next couple of days, especially once you factor in the wind chills. 17 is the current temperature in Pittsburgh, same temperature up in Erie. Temperatures fall off quickly in Detroit, where you get those single digits in Detroit and Saginaw, one degree in Chicago. So that cold air is draining in here and will continue to do so. Around Allegheny County, we have 19 in Churchill, Greensburg as you cross over into Westmoreland County, Belle Vernon too. You get the mid to upper teens from Moon Township up to Cranberry. And for the most part, it's cold any way you look at it. You get temperatures in the mid teens and these numbers are only going down and will continue to drop through the day tomorrow and into Thursday. So right now the actual temperature is 17 degrees in Pittsburgh. It feels like four and that's feeling pretty good compared to what it is going to feel like. And this is what it's going to feel like as we go through time. Zero by the time we get to 10 o'clock through midnight temperatures or wind chills, what it'll feel like falls off rather quickly early tomorrow morning between four and six. It's going to feel like minus five to minus 10 by lunchtime. It's going to feel like minus 15 to minus 20. It's going to feel around minus 20 for the afternoon. Very low, dangerous wind chills where frostbite can settle in rather quickly. So make sure you cover up your exposed skin and limit your pets time outside too. We have the wind chill warnings in the darker gray shaded counties. This is until Friday at 11 a.m. Wind chill advisories until Thursday tomorrow at 5 p.m. for areas around Allegheny County. This might get extended a little bit. In addition to the wind chills and the cold temperatures, we have a little bit of snow out there. This is not going to amount to much. We have these scattered little bursts of snow. They will lay down quick coatings on anything that's not treated. It's cold enough where this snow is going to stick to everything. That's going to be moving through a little more back through central Ohio that still wants to move through. So we have a few little snow showers around. They're going to be with us on and off through tonight and into the day tomorrow. Future cast shows us that through the night, you get midnight. You see these snow showers coming through early Wednesday. Still a spotty little area of snow or two in the morning. That'll get out of here and we'll actually break the clouds up a little bit for Thursday. So even though some sunshine's coming in, it is going to be cold. So the forecast looks like this. Tonight, 7 degrees. That's where our temperatures will stop. Wind chills will be below zero, but the actual temperature, 7 degrees, some scattered snow. This is our starting point for tomorrow. So our high is when you wake up. 7 degrees, temperatures continuing to fall below zero by the time we get to 11 p.m. tomorrow. So we're going to steadily see these uh, temperatures going down. Wind gusts to 30, that's what's going to make it feel like minus 20 degrees in many cases outside. Now, through the forecast here, you can see Thursday, 10 degrees for your high after starting off at minus 6. Temperatures pull out of the deep freeze Friday. Saturday, Sunday, you see a big jump in temperatures from the mid-30s to the mid-40s. And how about some 50s as we get into next week?